know what we is. What's up guys, I'm Alyssa, a sophomore here at Hutch. Welcome to my crib. All right, come on in guys. Here in the Arts AV house, we pride ourselves in being the best, so we show that we're the best. And these aren't just plaques on the wall, these are cash money prizes that you can win just from coming here to Hutch and learning everything you can learn in the Arts AV cluster. We've got so many right here, that's about $1,000, probably more. Mr. Johnson's gotten 800 just by himself, not counting all the students. All right, so now we're gonna go into the first room in the Arts AV cluster and my personal favorite spot, the control room. Let's head in there. All right, so in here we've got the latest, the greatest setup. And in case you guys didn't know, we've got our very own new show, Hawk Hit News, and this is where all the magic happens. Let's check it out. Yo, this is my boy Taylor Gatto, senior here at Hutch. Taylor, what are you and Shayla working on right now? Uh, we're just working on our Hawk Hit News program. With this uh, system that we have here, we can do anything, anything you can imagine, live sport broadcast. This is the same system the Miami Heat use, so you know you know we're, we're top of our game. Sounds like we're pretty set up. So not only do we have this super cool switchboard that the Miami Heat also uses, we've got this dope audio board to make sure all of our anchors and everything sound really great. As if this wasn't cool enough, let's get in the main place. Let's hop on over to the studio. All right guys, this is the main hangout, the main place where all the work gets done. Yo, we've got the coolest and the best lab set up in here, and it's all been put together by our super cool teacher, Mr. Johnson. Yo, what's up, Alyssa? What's up, guys? Welcome to my crib. Yeah, this place is super souped up, including we got screens. 70-inch 4K screens here, MacBook Pros, not those cheap little white MacBooks. We got the MacBook Pro 13 inches there. We've got monitors in the back booths and the side booths. We got so sick of our paper bulletin board, we put monitors in our hallway. All total, 1,111 inches of just pure viewing pleasure right here in Arts AV. You can come check it out. That's a lot. Now we're in one of my most favorite places in the entire lab, the studio. In here we've got the best cameras in the state, the best lighting system, and 20 feet of green screen. Our Hawk Hit News is filmed right here, and it's the coolest place in the entire school. All right, and if you guys really just need to sit down and grind on your work, we've got these super cool back booths with dual monitors. And here's my boy Jaden. Hey, Jaden, what are you working on? Oh, I'm just working on some logos so we can get out to the company and make them look good. All right, well, it seems like you're doing a pretty good job. I'll let you get back to work. Here at Hutch, we use the latest and the greatest software. All the things that your favorite movies, posters, commercials were made on, we use the same editing software because we're the best. All right, guys, let's head over into our equipment room. We've got everything under the sun in here. We've got microphones. We've got DSLR cameras. We've got video cameras. Canon, Nikon, Sony. We've even got freaking GoPros, and we want you to get the best hands-on experience with the greatest equipment out there. That's why you can check this out just during the school day, overnight, over the weekend, and even use them for your own personal projects. So not only do we make super cool news shows, videos, photos, and graphics in here, but we produce our very own yearbooks. And these yearbooks, they're not just your grandma's yearbooks. They're super cool and made with the highest tech software and have awesome features like augmented reality where you can use your phone to interact with the book. And let me tell you guys, it's crazy. So not only all that cool stuff, but I can graduate from Hutch with up to nine college credits, and if I want, I can get my Adobe Photoshop certification, Premiere certification, and New Tech to lead me into a great career in the Arts AV field. I love Arts AV, and I love Hutch, and I think you guys will too. But now I'm going to need you to get out of here, because I've got to work on this super cool video, and I hope I see you guys next year right here at Hutch. Welcome to Stream Team.
The team is made up of students from the Arts AV Cluster at Hutchison High School. This group of young and creative students dedicate their time after school and on the weekends to produce live events from all over Alaska. These events are streamed over the web for audiences across the state, the nation, and the world to enjoy. Of note, we are particularly proud of our graduation stream, which was viewed by deployed family members in Iraq. Our team uses high-end production equipment, including multiple cameras, mass communication headsets, live video switchboards, and even an instant replay generator to produce high-quality and engaging content for our viewers. The team is made up of between 6 to 10 students, each in unique positions responsible for a certain aspect of the show, yet all moving in sync to produce the best possible viewing experience. Our team started in March of 2010, and to date we have produced over 300 live streams. We started with making streams in our own home school, but have since mobilized our equipment, and we now stream various events all over Alaska. It is always a fun and exciting experience to produce these streams, but the real reward is being able to bring live coverage of special events to parents and fans who are unable to make the long trips around our great state. What's up guys, I'm Alyssa, a sophomore here at Hutch. Welcome to my crib. Alright, come on in guys. Here in the Arts AV house, we pride ourselves in being the best, so we show that we're the best. And these aren't just plaques on the wall, these are cash money prizes that you can win just from coming here to Hutch and learning everything you can learn in the Arts AV cluster. We've got so many right here, that's about $1,000, probably more. Mr. Johnson's gotten 800 just by himself, not counting all the students. All right, so now we're going to go into the first room in the Arts AV cluster and my personal favorite spot, the control room. Let's head in there. Alright, so in here we've got the latest, the greatest setup. 
And in case you guys didn't know, we've got our very own new show, Hawk Hit News, and this is where all the magic happens. Let's check it out. Yo, this is my boy Taylor Gatto, senior here at Hutch. Taylor, what are you and Shayla working on right now? Uh, we're just working on our Hawk Hit News program. With this uh, system that we have here, we can do anything, anything you can imagine, live sport broadcast. Th this is the same system the Miami Heat use, so you know you know we're, we're top of our game. Sounds like we're pretty set up. So not only do we have this super cool switchboard that the Miami Heat also uses, we've got this dope audio board to make sure all of our anchors and everything sound really great. As if this wasn't cool enough, let's get in the main place. Let's hop on over to the studio. Alright guys, this is the main hangout, the main place where all the work gets done. Yo, we've got the coolest and the best lab set up in here, and it's all been put together by our super cool teacher, Mr. Johnson. Yo, what's up, Alyssa? What's up, guys? Welcome to my crib. Yeah, this place is super souped up, including we got screens. 70-inch 4K screens here. MacBook Pros, not those cheap little white MacBooks. We got the MacBook Pro 13 inches there. We've got monitors in the back booths and the side booths. We got so sick of our paper bolts and board, we put monitors in our hallway. All total, 1,111 inches of just pure viewing pleasure right here in Arts AV. You can come check it out. That's a lot. Now we're in one of my most favorite places in the entire lab, the studio. In here we've got the best cameras in the state, the best lighting system, and 20 feet of green screen. Our Hawk Hit News is filmed right here, and it's the coolest place in the entire school. All right, and if you guys really just need to sit down and grind on your work, we've got these super cool back booths with dual monitors. And here's my boy, Jaden. Hey, Jaden, what are you working on? Oh, I'm just working on some logos so we can get out to the company and make them look good. All right, well, it seems like you're doing a pretty good job. I'll let you get back to work. Here at Hutch, we use the latest and the greatest software. All the things that your favorite movies, posters, commercials were made on, we use the same editing software because we're the best. Alright guys, let's head over into our equipment room. We've got everything under the sun in here. We've got microphones, we've got DSLR cameras, we've got video cameras, Canon, Nikon, Sony, we've even got freaking GoPros and we want you to get the best hands-on experience with the greatest equipment out there. That's why you can check this out just during the school day, overnight, over the weekend and even use them for your own personal projects. <laughs> So not only do we make super cool news shows, videos, photos, and graphics in here, but we produce our very own yearbooks. And these yearbooks, they're not just your grandma's yearbooks, they're super cool and made with the highest tech software and have awesome features like augmented reality where you can use your phone to interact with the book. And let me tell you guys, it's crazy. So not only all that cool stuff, but I can graduate from Hutch with up to nine college credits, and if I want, I can get my Adobe Photoshop certification, Premiere certification, and New Tech to lead me into a great career in the Arts AV field. I love Arts AV, and I love Hutch, and I think you guys will too. But now, I'm going to need you to get out of here, because I've got to work on this super cool video, and I hope I see you guys next year right here at Hutch. Welcome to Stream Team. The team is made up of students from the Arts AV Cluster at Hutchison High School. This group of young and creative students dedicate their time after school and on the weekends to produce live events from all over Alaska. These events are streamed over the web for audiences across the state, the nation, and the world to enjoy. Of note, we are particularly proud of our graduation stream, which was viewed by deployed family members in Iraq. Our team uses high-end production equipment, including multiple cameras, mass communication headsets, live video switchboards, and even an instant replay generator to produce high quality and engaging content for our viewers. The team is made up of between six to 10 students, each in unique positions responsible for a certain aspect of the show, yet all moving in sync to produce the best possible viewing experience. Our team started in March of 2010, and to date we have produced over 300 live streams. We started with making streams in our own home school, but have since mobilized our equipment, and we now stream various events all over Alaska. It is always a fun and exciting experience to produce these streams, but the real reward is being able to bring live coverage of special events to parents and fans who are unable to make the long trips around our great state.
this is the Joe T. Oh, and so this is the Joe T. Tournament. Really left a legacy on this town of uh, really great leadership and just a. We're going to have the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your head here. To our starting lineups here pretty soon. So let's soon. meet the Lady Bears starters. Number three, Avery Kreischer. Number three, Avery Kreischer, a 5'7 sophomore. Number 14, Lisa Marcello. Number 14, Lisa Marcello, a 5'4 senior. Number 20, Crystal Pasqua. Number 20, Crystal Pasqua, 5'3 senior. Number 21, Ava Pruitt. Number 21, Ava Pruitt, a 5'7 junior. Number 35, Leslie Spear. And number 35, the Leslie Spear, a 6'1 sophomore. Sandra Gregory, assisted by Brian Gregory and Catherine Sims. Their head coach is Sandra Gregory. Now and now the Lathrop Lady Malamutes, the host of this tournament. Number three, Number three, Leanna, Leanna Tuck. She comes in at 5'3", and she is a junior. Number 12, number 12 Ella Roberts. She comes in at five foot nine, and she is a junior. Number twenty, number 20 Olivia, Olivia Prasca. She is six foot zero and a senior. Number twenty-five. Number twenty-five, Lucia Antoine Perez. She is a five foot four junior. And number thirty-four, Torin. And number thirty-four, Torin Johnson Oates. She is a five foot ten freshman. The head coach is David Stewart, and they're assisted by Chad Roberts. Knowing that Martin and Sierra, and Sierra Summer. This is an ASA sponsored event, the Alaska School Activities Association. We ask that you demonstrate good sportsmanship and refrain from any booing. We want to let everybody know that if you want to cheer on your players, uh, on your players, there is a text there, number that's going to come up on the screen in a little bit, and you can text and you, uh, have your players cheered on. And the game is about to be underway. Spear here with the clear height advantage over Roberts. But it does not matter as Lathrop gets the tip. One thing I saw yesterday is Ella Roberts' three-point ability and Spear's very good finishes at the rim. Since she's so tall, she's she's very able to get these to get these points up. Kreischer over to Marcello. And Marcello goes into Spear, gets tangled up by Johnson Oates and Roberts, and it looks like Marcelo shot a three of her own, but not able to convert. And number three, Tuck, not able to get that, but she will go to the line to shoot two. The foul is on Pasqua, first foul of the game. The first one for Tuck is good, making it a 1-0 lead for Lathrop. Second shot is up, 
and it is good. Kreischer inbounds it to Marcelo. Back to Kreischer. There's Spear. She hands it over to Pasqua. Pasqua down to number 21, Ava Pruitt, but when she tries to pass it in, it gets stolen. And here's Tuck over to Roberts. Back to Tuck. Tuck is going to shoot a little bit of a mid-range shot. Not able to knock that down, but Torrin Johnson notes with the foot back. And again, not in. There's Kreischer over to Marcelo, down to Pruitt. They're trying to find Spear down there. She was their main scorer against Keen against Kenai yesterday. And the shot is off, but good save by Pruitt into Spear. And Spear goes up and a little bit short. Tuck pushing the ball here. Dribbles out, gives it to Ella Roberts for the three, and that is a long three. Ella Roberts, good. One, three. Making it a 5-0 lead for Lathrop. There's Kreischer to Marcelo, to Spear. Spear over to Kreischer. Kreischer to Marcelo. Go back to Kreischer. And back to Spear, but that gets stolen by Lathrop. Number. And there's number 25, Perez, able to knock down that three-point shot, making it an 8-0 lead already for Lathrop. Number 20, Pascua has it, passes it to number 14, Marcelo. Marcelo to three, Kreischer. Picked back up by 25, Perez. Perez with the ball now. Taking her time. And there's Crusher with the rebound. Starts pushing it. It looks like it's going to be a timeout for Kodiak. Already a big lead for Lathrop. Well, not big, but already a, a lead for Lathrop, an 8-0 lead. They must be feeling good about this right now. Absolutely, yeah. Just coming out here and, and getting some points on the on the board before there's really too much um, on the line. You know, with the, with, you still have plenty of time. It's good. To, it's a good time to get a lead so that you can really head into um, the second half with as much as you can when the when the time really does start ticking. I want to point out that we are a donation funded uh, a donation funded group, and we really rely on uh, people watching the streams to donate in order to support us. So, if you can, please make a donation. It helps to support us in getting the best and latest equipment, so we can bring you things like instant replay and scoreboards, and it uh, helps keep us prepared and on top of our game as well by feeding us. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Spear over to Pasqua. Pasqua misses the the jump shot, but Leslie Spear, Leslie Spear using her. Her height to her advantage as she gets the putback. There's Tuck over to Roberts. Roberts has a stuck back three and not in. Pruitt with the rebound. Over to Kreischer. Kreischer pushing. Crosses over to the middle, gives it to Pruitt. Pruitt over to Pasqua. Pasqua with the shot, and that is good. Pasqua for three. Very quickly, Kodiak has made five, uh, five points here, so they're only down by three. Um, Kraska with that. Olivia Kraska with both, two. Both Spear and Kraska very close in height here. Absolutely. It's it's interesting to see a game with some more height as compared to the last girls game that we streamed. Um, you know, just the fact that we have some uh, a six foot player on Lathrop as well as a six foot one player on the, the Kodiak Lady Bears team. And it's gonna be a Kodiak ball. Kreischer passing it in. And there's Marcelo over to over to uh, Kreischer there, and Pruitt tries to save it, but it's going to be white ball. Perez passing it in. Perez is going to be looking for somewhere open that they can start to get some of those shots in, and I think that they're going to be looking for some of these three pointers as they go in. It'd be uh, good for them to to get some of those high points on the board right there. Three point shot from El Roberts, no good. Kodiak takes back possession of the ball. We got 14. Marcelo taking the ball down. She turns and tries to get it over. She gets it to number 20, Pasqua. Pasqua to Spear. Spear is pretty much stopped at the line by Lathrop. Uh, Pasqua up, but no good. And it looks like it's going to be a, a jump ball. Jump ball going to uh, Kodiak. Crusher passing it in. 
taking that leadership role pretty well. Uh, she's t telling her team exactly where they need to be. And uh, luckily for Lathrop, they got the steal right there. We got Roberts going up uh, up to uh, Tuck gets two. It's now 12-5 Lathrop over Kodiak. And there's Kreischer. Passes it over to Pasqua. Pasqua tried to do a slick pass to Spear, but gets it stolen by Tuck. Tuck pushing it. Tuck over to Roberts. Roberts into Kraska and a little, a little strong on that layup. Roberts back over to Tuck. There's Kraska. Kraska, nice feed over to Perez, but Perez not able to finish. It's going to be Lathrop ball. So we're going to see at number 25 Perez, and she's going to be taking that in, trying to figure out what she can do with that to get some points on the board right here. They definitely have the advantage right now. Good look by Kraska. Oh, we'll put two more points, points on the board for them, making it 14-5. Lathrop already has a nine-point lead, lead. Three minutes left in this first quarter. Um, we're seeing plenty of aggression coming out of Kodiak. It just seems that the, the shooting ability and I guess the setup as well of uh, Lathrop really being able to put the ball where it needs to be on the court in order to make those shots earlier in the game. They do like to rely a lot on Roberts as well as Kraska to get most of their points. Absolutely. Those two have a pretty good shooting ability and just generally very good athletes as well. They're very mobile on the court and uh, they can really make the best out of any situation that they're put in. Tuck up with nothing. And it looks like they have been playing together for around three years, so I'm sure they have that same kind of chemistry that Kenai's uh, Calvert and Ma have as well as Absolutely. Uh, Kodiak's players as well. And with a smaller community like Kodiak, it's likely that these uh, these girls have probably played together for a while, I could assume. Um, spear to Kreischer. Kreischer going around. Blocks shot down by Lathrop. Lathrop out of bounds off of Roberts. Couldn't catch that. <clears throat> it's going to be it's going to be Jordan Kodiak Johnson ball. And Breezy McClain. Check in for the Lady Malibu. And it looks like number five, Jordan Johnson, as well as number 24, Breezy McClain, come in for Torin johnson Oates. Crusher went up to three. No good. Uh, as well as Perez. And here's Tuck pushing it. Gets it into Johnson. Johnson goes to work and gets fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Lathrop is calling for a timeout right now. Possibly just uh, just enough to give Johnson a little bit of time to clear her head and figure out what their strategy is going to be going into this. Only two minutes and 14 seconds left in this uh, quarter. Uh, we can see that... Uh, Coach Stewart is talking to uh, Johnson right now. With about two minutes and 14 seconds left, uh, it's going to be really important that Lathrop starts to look ahead to what improvements uh, Kodiak is going to try to make in order to, to get on top of that and get ahead of the ball with that. Um, Hugh, if you were the coach for the Kodiaks, what would you be telling their players right now? Um, I would be telling them to calm down and uh, really kind of slow down and run their plays because it looks like they're being a little frantic on the court with Lathrop's defense. We got a text message in. They said, thank you, Hutch Dream Team. Let's go, Lady Malamutes from Mr. Oates. Uh, if you want to text your messages in and get them on the game, send them to new number 907-374-3342. Text in a cheer and we will shout them out. All right, about to resume the play action and we have a free throw up. Looks like the same lineup from the Malamutes is going to be coming out here after the timeout. Lining up to take her shot. Johnson for her first one. And Johnson's that. first shot is a little short. Teammates giving her the encouragement. She can hopefully make the next one extend their lead to 10. Kind of an interesting form, the the ball being pretty far above her head before she shoots, but it works. She makes that free throw, and the uh, Lathrop Malamutes are up by 10. Some very Kodiak breaking this press here. Spear. Great passing from Kodiak just then. And Spear is up 4-2. 
All right, we got Tuck going down the court. She's looking for either Roberts or possibly, and there she gets it to Kraska. Kraska goes up for two, and that is good. Olivia Kraska. So our score is 17-7. All right, you have Kreischer. Oh, no, the ball is stolen back by Tuck. Tuck to Jordan Johnson, and Jordan Johnson is good. 42 points, 19-7 late trip over Kodiak. All right, and right back stolen again by Olivia Kraska. Kraska uh, gets it stolen back by number 14 of the Kodiak Lady Bears, Lisa Marcello. Marcello. Marcello hits it out of bounds, and it is now it is now Lathrop's ball. Yeah, Kreischer tried to make that risky pass to Marcello, and it didn't pay off as it's Lathrop's ball passing it in. Roberts looking to tuck. Seeing if they can set something up. It looks like they have uh, Kraska ready to make a shot. Johnson is all set up. Over to Roberts. Quick three and it is off. Johnson over to Perez. Perez to Roberts. Roberts back to. It looks like it's going to be a blocking foul on Kodiak. It should be late for a ball passing it in. And the foul's on Kreischer. We're going to see what Lathrop can make out of this one. Lathrop passing it in. Uh, tuck all the way to Roberts. Roberts over to McLean. McLean up for two. And that is good. McLean for two. This could be a very high scoring game for Lathrop. We're still only in the first quarter. Got a little bit less than a minute left. And they're already up 21 to 7. Uh, the aggression of Lathrop is really showing its colors right now. Kodiak not playing bad basketball per se, but just not having quite the accuracy with the shooting. Um, they can get possession of the ball and they can usually get it to a shooting standpoint but Lathrop just has been dominant in their ability to, to make those shots Tuck has the ball now, Tuck over to uh, Kraska, Kraska back Kraska has the ball, she tries to get it to Rob Johnson Johnson is up and it is in alright 23-7, 15 seconds left here in this first quarter and we have number 14 uh, Marcelo going down but it is stolen now Tuck has the ball and she gets it back, but uh, there was a foul over here. I'm not exactly who she... Uh, number, uh, number 14, and that's on Lisa Marcella for holding. It is white ball with seven seconds left in the quarter. And it looks like Kodiak making some subs. A few new players come out on the floor. Possibly trying to give some of their other players a rest. There's only seven seconds left, so being able to start talking to them about the second quarter. Oh, Roberts. Roberts goes up for two and gets it, and that is time for this quarter. And the score at the and end of the first quarter is 25 Lathrop and 7 Kodiak. So if you're just joining us, my name is Alden Jerome. And I'm Hugh Matherly. We are from the Hutchison High School stream team. We stream all of these events so that you guys can watch them online for free, whether you're in the state, not in Fairbanks, you could be even in Fairbanks at home or anywhere around the world. We have a new text message uh, cheer. It says, let's go Bears. So that's awesome that we're getting people viewing it in Kodiak. Remember to send your text message to 907-347-3342. Uh, we have another one in. Let's go Avery and the Bears from Grandma and Grandpa in Indiana. So great that we have viewers all over the country. Thank you for tuning in from Indiana. Uh, and again, if you want us to shout out your player, uh, text in a cheer to 907-347-3342. All right, just a few seconds left in the break between quarters. And Lathrop is up by uh, Lathrop is up by 18 points. And HHSstreamteam.com is the site. And one thing that's, uh, there's a photo slideshow up there for you guys. And uh, one thing to note is that we are a donation uh, funded group. And so any donation that you guys can give is great to us to ensure that we can keep streaming these events for a long time to come. All right, we tuck back to uh, McLean. McLean uh, loses possession of the ball to number 14. Gets it stolen by Marcelo, but calls a foul really early on. And it looks like it's going to be maybe a travel or a double dribble here. It's going to be Lathrop's ball going the other way. Roberts to Tuck. Tuck taking it down. 
they've really been giving her a lot of time to, to have the ball and to get around some of these defenders to set them up well for a shot. Ella Roberts is passing it to uh, Tuck. Tuck back to Roberts. Roberts for three, and that is no good. Uh, Kraska loses it a little bit, but gets it back to Tuck. Tuck over to Roberts. Roberts into Kraska. Kraska goes in, passes it out to McLean. McLean drives, gives it to Tuck. Roberts with the wide open three in the corner and rims out there, having trouble shooting this, this quarter. Roberts typically dominant on those uh, on those threes, but it looks like today the, the junior is having a little bit more uh, trouble, at least in this second quarter, even though it's just beginning. All right, Marcelo to a spear, spear, trying to make something of it, but she got Johnson right in her face. It is going to be uh, Cody X ball out of bounds. There's Marcelo passing it in. If I were Kodiak right here, I'd probably try to get it into one of your guards and then after getting into one of your guards, pass it to Spear because they're not getting some points and she's so tall, I think they get some pretty easy points by giving her the ball. Yeah, Marcelo goes up and she gets two points. Well, I just got told. <laughs> and there's Marcelo able to tip that in. There's Kraska over there. Kraska to Tuck, Tuck to Roberts. Roberts to McLean, McLean dribbling in and it is up and it is good for two for McLean. Good floating, a good floater right there. Able to get some easy points for Lathrop. There's Kodiak. The Kodiak Bears are heavily relying on Marcella. She's running a lot of these plays, making sure the ball gets where it needs to go. She's had her hand on the ball probably more than any of the other uh, players for the Bears. Number 32, uh, Kayambo tries to keep it in, but to no avail, it is going to be white ball from the, the line. Roberts to Tuck in similar fashion. Tuck taking it down. Tuck back over to Roberts. Roberts looking like she might take the shot or pass it. Nope, she's going for McLean. McLean over to Tuck. Tuck gets the ball knocked right out of her hands by number 24, uh, yeah, actually, Elena Bartel. Yeah, she dribbled it right off her foot. It's going to be Kodiak ball going the other way. Avery Kreischer, Crystal Pasqua, and Ava Pruitt. I'll check back Ava in Pruitt. for the Lady Bears. Uh, Avery Kreischer, and Jordan Johnson is back in for the Mountains. Crystal Pasqua all in for Kodiak. Gets it in to Pasqua over to Kreischer. Pruitt gives it to Pasqua. Pasqua trying to dribble around Kraska there. There's Kreischer. Long three by number 32. Uh, nothing. Kyla Kiambo, but can't convert on that one, so it's going to be a Lathrop ball. As usual, Roberts to Tuck. Tuck taking it down the court. Back over to Roberts. Roberts with a jump three, and that is good. That was a beautifully well executed three for Ella Roberts. Kodiak has the ball, number 20, uh, Pasqua. Pasqua going down the court. Roberts trying to block her from getting anything, and looks like Pasqua loses control of the ball before she can make it down. Uh, but it's called out on Ella Roberts, so it is Kodiak's ball, and they have. Uh, Kreischer taking it back in. Uh, Kreischer to Pruitt. Pruitt to Pasqua. Pasqua to Kreischer. There she's going in. Trying to Malamute's trying to defend against this. Looking a little bit frantic out there. Not quite sure who's supposed to be covering who. And it is out on blue. So it is uh, Lathrop's ball going down. A lot of leadership coming from Ella Roberts this game. She really has been uh, showing a lot of potential for, for, or she really just has been leading the team and uh, making the plays. And it comes from being where she needs to be, wherever that is, and then she can, uh, wherever she needs to be, she's there, and that helps the other team members get in, get into where they need to be. No good three for Ella Roberts, uh, and it is. Kodiak's ball after she would happen there. Um, I'm actually not really sure. I think it might have been like a moving box out maybe. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably what it was. Either way, Kwambo has the ball. She's dribbling down the court and she gets it back to Kreischer. Kreischer trying to make something of it back over and but it is stolen by Johnson. Johnson tries to get it to Tuck but to no avail. Uh, 
Pasqua takes that and gets it to Kreischer. Kreischer taking it down to Pasqua. Slips out of Pasqua's hands, but she takes it back. Number 21, Pruitt back to Pasqua. Some sloppy maneuvers, frankly, out here. Just a little bit. Uh, the ball came loose a couple of times there. Um, possibly getting a little bit flustered here with the score so high, 30 to 9, uh, with 425 left in the half. Um, it's easy to see how they could start to get a little bit uh, either nervous or, or just upset. And there's Kreischer for three. That is and very that good. misses everything. It's going to be Lathrop ball going the other way. And really right now Lathrop just dominating with their with their scoring right here. Absolutely. Not only are they able to, to better recover some of these rebounds and they're able to move the ball down the court um, quicker, but they are really... Uh, wherever, whenever they have the ball and there's a shot opportunity, they set it up well enough that they have success just like that. Ella Roberts getting another three. I'm not sure how many points for Ella Roberts this game, but it is a lot. So far, she's made multiple threes. I would guess that she is their, their leading scorer right now. Oh, absolutely. Fouls on Ella Roberts. There's a foul on Ella Roberts. River Wiseman checks into the game for the Lady Melody. River Wiseman comes in for Ella Roberts here, giving her a break. Here's Kreischer. Swings it over to Pruitt. Pruitt back to Kreischer. Over to Pasqua. Pasqua up. No and good couldn't for quite get the angle on that one. What's interesting is Kodiak has been playing with the finesse. Uh, their passing has really been there. It's just when it comes time to shoot that they have been falling short. Um, so probably honing that in looking into the second half um, is probably going to be to the best of their advantage. But there's still 323 left in this quarter. Yeah, it's not that Kodiak's been doing bad. It's just that the, the shots just haven't been going their way this game. They've been playing pretty good defense and pretty good uh, offense, it's just the scoring aspect of it has been hard for them. Absolutely, they've done a, I mean, a decent job of just getting the ball down the court and into scoring range. They just have to, once the ball is down there, make sure that it's going right in the net. And oh. there's Kreischer, just rims out. And again, uh, we had Pruitt almost make one. Kreischer again, and that one goes Angry in. Kreischer for two. There's a long two-pointer there. I almost thought that was a three. I, I also did. <laughs> And we and have there's Breezy McLean with the shot. Missed three-pointer, but it's okay because Perez with the rebound. Perez fakes the pass and shoots the three and knocks it down. Perez for three. That extends the lead triple lead to 36 to 11. A substantial 25-point lead considering the first half is not even over. That's going to be out on Kodiak. It's going to be Lathrop Ball again. Jordan Johnson back into the game for the Lady Mountain Johnson is back into the game for the Malamutes. She has been a, a very good player in this game as well, being able to make some of those critical passes that got the ball to Roberts a few times for a couple of those threes. Uh, the ball is now with McLean. McLean to Perez. Pasqual with a good defense on Perez. Absolutely. And River Wiseman with the shot. That's going to be off. Johnson tries to get it to Weissel, but it seems to be a, to no avail. It is out on white, and it is Kodiak's ball. There's Kreischer. She gets that one into Pasqua. Back to Kreischer. Kreischer taking it down. Tries to get it over to Pasqua, but really does not make that happen. It is white ball from the sideline. Marcelo checks back in for the Bears. Marcelo back in. It looks like Kodiak's playing a 2-3 defense here. I don't know if they've been playing that from the beginning or if they just started that, but hopefully they can start Dean up on these on these shots that, that Lathrop was putting up. Crusher almost loses control of the ball, gets it to uh, Marcello, but Marcello is not able to put it together. And there's River Wiseman passes that one into Rachel Weisel, and then Perez with another three, and that's it. Making that 39 for Lathrop and 11 for Kodiak. Curious to see exactly how high this game is going to go. I think that Kodiak is definitely going to need to turn up the heat on their defense for this second half. For sure. 
And the shooting, I mean, that uh, it took multiple attempts to get that two-pointer in there, so that's another thing that hopefully that they can improve on for their sake in the next coming game. It looks to be a timeout. It looks like we have number uh, 33, Aurora Bird, coming in. Aurora Bird, Chet Sam from Lady Bird. Perez takes it down. And there's Perez, swings that one over to Breezy McLean, who gives it in there to Johnson. Perez with another three, and that is in. That's her third one in a row here. It's incredible being able to shoot it that accurately from that far away, and she has it again. She's going up, tries she to get loses it over. It, but good, good save by Wiseman. It is Kodiak's ball. We're calling that a push. Forty-two to thirteen. We have forty-five and a half seconds left in this. We have Marcelo dribbling down. She's looking to see if possibly Kiambo or Kreischer. Kreischer for a three, but nothing. She doesn't hit even the net. It's going to be a late throw ball going the other way. Crystal checks back in for Lady Let's see if Perez can hit another three. <laughs> that would be exciting to see if we can have um, players with multiple threes. The other one from Lathrop with multiple threes is Ella Roberts. She has hit a few of those. I would guess probably half or more of their points have come from threes. I would, uh, I would think that's a fair guess. And you could tell that Perez wanted that ball as she called for it, but uh, Jordan Johnson Decided to put that one up, and it's Kodiak ball as it rolls out of bounds. And there's Pasqua dribbling down the ball. Only about 17 seconds here. Lathrop takes back possession of the ball. They have it back with Perez. Perez all the way over to Wiseman. Wiseman back to Perez. Perez oh. almost loses control. And she does. It is now Kodiak's ball. And that buzzer beater is no good. That is the end that of the score. first half. The Wolf uh, Rush Malamutes are up 42 to the Kodiak Bears 13. We could be seeing a really high score game coming up uh, for the Malamutes. And we'll see if Kodiak can put something together in this second half. We have to have entertainment. We're going to have a performance by the Malamute Cheer Squad. Come on to the floor, ladies. It looks like we're going to have a performance from the Malamute Cheer Squad uh, for halftime.
Hi, my name is Sean. I'm in a band named Storms. We use items such as this copyright infringement to make music. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm the drummer of the band, and I really like to party. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm the guitarist for Sean. He doesn't talk to me that much. With all these toys and stuff, we're producing our new album. It's called Unraveling. We got our producer, Brian, here. Enjoy this. I know you're the producer. It's fine. Come on. We got the entire studio set up. We got our bandmates over here. We got the lights. We got everything. It's all ready to go. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm from the Healthy Beats record label. I'm a producer and audio technician. Yeah, Brian was sent here from the record label. I don't really know why we need him because I know what I'm doing. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm in a band named Storms. Welcome to Stream Team. The team is made up of students from the Arts AV Cluster at Hutchison High School. This group of young and creative students dedicate their time after school and on the weekends to produce live events from all over Alaska. These events are streamed over the web for audiences across the state, the nation, and the world to enjoy. Of note, we are particularly proud of our graduation stream, which was viewed by deployed family members in Iraq. Our team uses high-end production equipment, including multiple cameras, mass communication headsets, live video switchboards, and even an instant replay generator to produce high-quality and engaging content for our viewers. The team is made up of between 6 to 10 students, each in unique positions responsible for a certain aspect of the show, yet all moving in sync to produce the best possible viewing experience. Our team started in March of 2010, and to date we have produced over 300 live streams. We started with making streams in our own home school, but have since mobilized our equipment and we now stream various events all over Alaska. It is always a fun and exciting experience to produce these streams, but the real reward is being able to bring live coverage of special events to parents and fans who are unable to make the long trips around our great state.
So Kodiak trying to Good make something of this. Good block by Roberts. But, yeah, excellent block by Roberts. Who's going to take, uh, who's going to give possession of the ball to wow. the Lathrop okay. Malamutes. Perez is going to take that in. Perez to Roberts. I wouldn't be surprised if Roberts shot another three here. I mean, I wouldn't either. I mean, she's lined up perfectly to do it. I think that Kodiak needs to start shutting her down quicker. They haven't been relying too much on their inside game. It's usually just been a lot of outside from Perez and Roberts. So we'll see how how they respond to that this this half. Nebraska calling for that ball right there. Back to Roberts. to Roberts. I wouldn't be surprised to see Roberts shoot it from there even. <laughs> Roberts goes in for the layup, and it is good for two. Oh, wow. Lathrop 47 and Kodiak 15. Marcelo dribbling down the court. Gives it all the way over to Spear. Spear goes up, and that is good for two for Spear. Let's this Spear for two. And Spear adding two more points on to Kodiak's score as they pass it over to Roberts. Roberts shoots a reload Beautiful three, and that three. is in. Hello, Roberts. One more time. I'll be interested at the end of this game to see what her stats are. I mean, she has scored so many points already. Marcelo again down to Spear. Spear trying to figure out what to do to it. Throws it up. It is not good. Perez takes the ball, and she is looking for... Probably give Roberts. <laughs> Probably Roberts. I mean, that seems to be their chief strategy at the moment, although Carrasco just put it up for nothing, and it is not and out of bounds. Johnson Oates loses it, and it's going to be a Kodiak ball going the other way. Yeah, Roberts already has eight this quarter alone. And it's been not even three minutes yet. So Spear is looking for uh, possibly... Oh. oh, and there's Kreischer. Good drive. And it looks like it's going to be a block on Perez. I think Kreischer will go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Adam Perez. Kreischer at the line to shoot two. Kreischer has certainly been a dominant force for the Kodiak Bears this time around. The Lathrop cheerleaders calling for a rebound off of this one, and number two is up, and it is also good, which brings Kodiak to 19 points. Ella Roberts with the ball dribbling down, and she passes it right to, uh, to Tuck. Tuck over to... Carrasco. Carrasco goes up for two, and that is good. 52-19. Marcelo to Spear. Spear going down to Kreischer. Kreischer with a wide open basket and is good for two. For two. It's going to be Roberts dribbling up the ball. Not surprising on this one. Looks like I think they're going to call her for a travel here. Yeah, they're going to call her for a travel. Took a couple of steps after she put the hand on the ball there. So uh, Marcelo is going to take that in. Tuck trying to put the pressure on her. There's Marcelo. Out Gets it all the way over to Spear. Spear to Kreischer. Kreischer taking it down, guarded by Roberts. One thing I've noticed and is Spear's is passing when they're trying to break the press. She's been like the main option to try to get it down the court to Spear here. So Absolutely. we'll see if that keeps working out for him. The press hasn't really worked for Lathrop yet against Kodiak. Mm -hmm. Roberts has it again. She passes it to Perez. Perez goes for three, and it is not good. Recovered by Oates. Oates goes for Roberts. Roberts to Perez. Perez up, and that is also not good. Kind of stuck in a huddle there with Spear for Kodiak taking it, passing it, gets it to Kreischer. Kreischer going down the court. She's looking around, gets it to Marcelo. Marcelo back to Kreischer. Kreischer to... Uh, Through it. Threw it, threw it, it up, shot. and it is no good. Perez takes the ball for Lathrop, going down the court, gets it to Tuck, Tuck to Kraska, Kraska back to Tuck, Tuck is up for two, and it is no good. Uh, looks like a foul, and she's going to take two free throws from the line. Roberts looking to her coach for some advice, it looks like. All right, Tuck for two free throws, first one, and that is good, very clean. We're halfway through this third quarter. And the second free throw here for Tuck. It's up, and it is good as well. The two beautiful free throws there for Tuck. 
There's oh, Pasqua. Right. Pasqua back in it, taking it down the court. Gets it to Marcelo. Marcelo up for two, no good. And it is knocked out of bounds by Kodiak. It is Lathrop's ball. Roberts uh, is giving the ball to Perez. Perez will take it in. And I think right there, Perez was like, let Tuck get it so you can shoot some more threes. <laughs> Probably. I mean, that seems to have been working pretty well. You've got to think that uh, Ella Roberts has really put in the, the 10,000 hours, as they say, in order to get those threes right because she can execute virtually every time, except, except for that one. I must have jinxed it. <laughs> Pasqua taking it down the court now. Pasqua over to uh, Spear. Spear trying to get it up, and she does, despite the defensive Spear. efforts of Lathrop. The she gets she the end out. one, and it's going to be two points on the board for Kodiak as well as one more extra point if she makes the free throw. Spirit, the line, she won. Lathrop uh, has had three fouls to Kodiak's two. Timeout called by the Lathrop Malamutes. Um, certainly not losing too much steam here. They still have a commanding lead, although Kodiak has made up a little bit of the difference. Um, Kodiak has really come out here and played the game well, and they've been more aggressive, matching the level of aggressiveness of Lathrop. Lathrop still aided by uh, Robert's uh, shooting ability and also just the ability of Perez to uh, get the ball over there. That has been very helpful. Jim filling up a little bit more. Um, mostly on the, the side where we have where you can't see as well, but uh, plenty of Lathrop parents coming out to support. This is the championship game for the girls, so the winner of this one is the winner of the tournament. All right, and we see the teams taking back the court, and we are back to free throws, and that's going to be Spear trying for one, uh, an extra one, and the one that she scored. That was number 20, Olivia Kraska, who fouled against her. Both teams have their starting units in, the people who started out the game. And Spears' free throw is not good, a little short. Ella Roberts taking back possession, gets it to Perez. Perez looking around, back to Roberts. Roberts signals a play. Robert up and no good. The defense from Kodiak was too strong. Kodiak take, takes possession. Kreischer is dribbling it down. Kreischer to... Pasco Pasqua to Pruitt, Pruitt up, and that is in. Shot by Pruitt. Two points. That makes the score 25 to 54. Ella Roberts looking for another opportunity to make a three. It looks like she goes up for two, and it is no good. The defense of Kodiak has really come out strong this quarter, I think, uh, and just being able to get in front of the ball when Lathrop has been shooting. Yeah, for sure. And there's a. There's a push on Ella Roberts here on Spear. It's going to be Kreischer throwing it in for the Kodiak Bears. Start to wonder if perhaps Ella Roberts is getting a little bit uh, frustrated with not having made those last couple of shots for her. So McLean checks in for Perez. McLean had it was really a good force uh, to have in that first half for sure. Um, definitely influential in the passing game. Very and good Perez. six man for them. And there's Ella, Ella Roberts up, and she gets the layup for two points. So it's 56 to 25. Lathrop is up. 2:30 left in this quarter. This is her quarter right now. Absolutely. And there's Pasqua. Good feed from Pruitt down to Kreischer, but not quite able to get it. There's Kreischer. Back to Pruitt. The Pruitt, nice pass to Spear and. Spear goes up, and that gets blocked by Roberts. And that gets blocked again by Roberts. Roberts was absolutely dominant on that. She's blocked that ball twice. Very clean, very legal. McLean over to... And then Torn johnson Oates gives it over to Roberts. And I think Roberts wanted to shoot that three, but she realized that she was a little too far back there. <laughs> it is now Kodiak's ball. Foul on Johnson-Oates. Foul on Johnson-Oates for that one. Jordan Johnson is coming in. Lizzo, and Perez, all check in for 
Oates, Kraska, and Tuck are all out, and we have Johnson, Weissel, and uh, Weissman all in. Johnson, another good force to have in that first half. She really put the pressure on as well, and you can see that immediately. She's really playing that defense well and making sure that those people are covered. Kreischer over to Pasqua. Pasqua over to Pruitt. Pruitt to Kreischer. Kreischer tips it out of out of bounds, possibly. Yeah, okay. It's going to be Lathrop ball going the other way. Weissman takes it, gives it to Perez. Perez going down, taking her time. Sets it up with McLean. McLean looking around. Gives it back to Weissman. Weissman up for a three, and it is no good. Kodiak takes position of this ball. Spear has it. Spear to Pasqua. Pasqua is taking it down. Over to Kreischer. Kreischer to Pasqua, and Pasqua goes up for two, but for nothing. Number three, goes, Kreischer goes up and gets two points. A little bit slower scoring as we reach the end of this uh, third quarter here. Perez has the ball. She takes it around, gets it to... McLean, McLean over to, back to Perez. Perez back to McLean. And McLean drives and gets, oh no, not gets fouled. She travels and it's going to be Kodiak ball going the other way. Uh, Pruitt has the ball now. Pruitt over, tries to get it to Spear, but it is stolen by Perez. Perez taking it down now. Let's see what she does. She gets it over to McLean. McLean up for a three and no good. Recovered by uh, Weissel. Weissel back over to McLean. McLean to Perez. Perez looking for a pass. Gets it over to Weissman. Weissman back to Perez. Perez up for a three and she got it. That was a, a funky looking shot. The ball had almost no spin on it. I think that was a result of a tip. but No spin. Also very flat shot too. No arc on that one but able to get that in. At the end of the third quarter, it is Lathrop 59 to Kodiak's 27. So once again, uh, Lathrop coming out here and playing a pretty dominant game. They are up by 32. That being said, they didn't extend their lead as much as they would have had the, the play continued as it was in the first and second quarter. Going to be very tough for Kodiak to make up the difference in this last quarter. They're going to, if they want to make any headway, they're going to have to really make sure that their shooting is tuned up perfectly. It's great that we have teams coming all the way from places like Kodiak to play here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Real quickly again, uh, we're from the Hutchison High School stream team based out of Hutchison High School in Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, we're part of the Arts AV cluster, and we do everything in front of and behind the camera. So this is a great way for us to get some hands-on experience, and we love to bring you guys games from all around the state. Uh, we're going to be in Valdez not too long from now streaming that tournament as well. All right, it is going to be Kodiak bringing the ball back in. It looks like it's going to go to Kreischer, and she is going to pass it right off the bat to Pasqua. Oh, no, excuse me, Marcelo. Marcelo taking it down. Back to Kreischer. Kreischer to number 24, who we haven't seen much of, Bartel. Uh, Lathrop takes possession of that. Perez taking it down the court. Dribbling around a couple of defenders. Goes up for two, and the layup is good. Two points for Perez. Good move Perez, Perez has also had a lot of uh, scoring in this game. That being said, we do have a score of 61 for Lathrop, so there's plenty of points to go around. And there's Marcella. She dishes that over to Kreischer. Pressure fakes the pass to Spear, and oh, they do get it to Spear, and Spear goes up and gets fouled. She'll be going to line to shoot too. More fouls in this uh, in this game than some of the previous ones that we've watched. Um, fouls on Jordan Johnson. A foul was on Jordan Leslie Johnson. Spear Leslie Spear is going up to shoot two. Let's see what happens here. Spear is a good shooter for Kodiak. That first one is no good. A roll of bird checks in for the Lady Bears. A roll of bird coming in. She's only five foot four, and she is a junior coming in for Kodiak. Spear up again, and that one is good. That brings Kodiak to twenty-eight points. 
And she's taking uh, another one. I, I guess there must have been a, an a, uh, another one. Spear going up for another one. And that one is no good. Johnson with the ball. Johnson to Weissman. Weissman taking it down the court, looking for the pass. Gets it to McLean. McLean over to Perez. Perez taking Perez it. Perez trying to go around Pasquale, but good defense by Pasquale. One thing worth noting is Ella Roberts is not on the court right now. Uh, probably giving her a little bit of a rest. That and the fact that uh, Lathrop is up by so much that to give some of these other players some playing time is probably a good idea. Save her in case they do need to make um, make some adjustments in the score. And there's Marcello. Goes up for the jump shot and she gets making it 30 to 61 here. Perez to Weissman. Weissman to Perez. Taking it down the court over to McLean. McLean looking for the pass. Gets it to Weissman. Weissman around, it gets it to Johnson. Johnson up for two, and that is good. Johnson with those signature yellow basketball shoes stand out well on the court. Malamute's colors as well. And we Shot by Pascal, but she misses. Kreischer gets the rebound, but her shot misses everything a little long. Spear makes it in, however. Best two points for Perez. Perez has the ball now. With just over six minutes left in the fourth, the score is 63 to 32. And I'm not gonna lie, chances are looking bleak here for the Kodiak Bears. Yes, they are. Johnson with another two points. The Malamutes now have more than double the points of Kodiak. They are up by 33. Marcelo over and it is tipped out of bounds by Pasqua. Kyla Kiambo checks in for the Lady Bears. We have Kyla Kayambo checking in for the Kodiak Lady Bears. Referee talking with Perez, not quite sure what they're talking about. Weissman has been, Weissman to Perez, Perez dribbling it down. There's Perez trying to put a move on number 32. Weissman with a no good Kyla jump shot. Kiambo Johnson with it now. Oh, Perez goes in and makes a bank layup and able to. One thing worth noting is uh, is Lathrop has certainly done a great job of getting their uh, is getting those rebounds. Those rebounds have been crucial for them. You don't make every shot, but being able to recover from them and at least get another one up um, is good. It looks like a tripping foul on number 13, Rachel Weissel, and that is going to be. Kodiak's ball. Another thing that's really kept Lathrop this lead is their ability to find their, their scores on the court. These these kind of like players that don't score as much are, are doing a really good job of passing it to the players who are scoring this game. Absolutely. Back out on the court where they have Oates, Roberts, Kraska, and Tuck there. Their starting crew in addition to Perez. And it's a one and one. Marcelo misses it, so she will not get another shot, but Spear able to get the rebound. Lathrop already with seven fouls this, this quarter. And Spear able to get it again. Spear tries to go up, and it's going to be two shots. I think it's a foul on Possibly Oates. Perez. Yeah. Fouls on Luke, that's on Perez. It is on Perez. Yes, Spear at the line of the shoot, too. Spear, a good shooter. Let's see what she can put together here. First one is no good. Some confusion on the court. She has to take another one. I think Perez thought it was thought, thought it was a one and one, but it was actually a shooting foul, so it's going to be two shots. <laughs> All right, Spear up for her second one. And that one is good. And that is good. All right, Kreischer, oh, sorry. Now we got Tuck taking it down the court now. Tuck, Tuck to gets it Roberts. to Roberts. Roberts to Kraska. Roberts and Kraska have been working really well together, finding each other on the court to get those points for Lathrop that really made their lead as big as it is now. Yep, and we, uh, it's Kodiak ball now from the sideline. It looks like uh, Perez may have knocked that out. Pasqua is checking back in to replace Aurora Berg. And there's Marcelo. Passes it over to number 32, uh, Kyla Kiambo. And Marcelo with the shot. 
And that's going to be good. Only a two-pointer, but any two. points on the board for them right now are good points. Tuck gets Carrasco. it into Carrasco, but gets it stolen by Spear. And here comes Pasqua. Pasqua taking it down, trying to look for somebody open. The defense for Lathrop isn't pretty good. Tries to make the three, and she does. Pasqua for three. It's a good shot by Pasqua. Gaining a little bit of steam here for Kodiak. Uh, it's good to see them, them making some form of a comeback here. Ella Roberts has the ball now. That's always dangerous. She goes up for two, and she gets it. Ella Roberts for two. Ella Roberts really shining bright in this game. Got about four minutes left here in this cor uh, in the game itself. Ball is timeout from time Kodiak. Out for Kodiak. And uh, so Lathrop is up 31 points to or it's up 69 to 38 over Kodiak, uh, 31 point lead. But again, to point out, they've pretty much had the same 30 point lead for the duration of this half which goes to show that the, the majority of their lead was really just gained in that first half, not so much in the second half. They've been playing pretty equally in terms of that. A few more fouls in this second half um, really showing through. Uh, the, it looks like, I mean, Lathrop has done a pretty good job, at, whereas that most of their players have had definitely some playing time um, they've been doing those large substitutions where they'll put in three or four of their players at a time. Well, it'll be interesting to see in these last few minutes uh, what they decide to do in terms of that and also what Kodiak does to try to get some points on the board before it's over. So 3.55 left in the game with Lathrop's commanding lead of 69-38. to 38. And Kreischer gets that one into Spear, gives it right back to Kreischer. Spear swings that one over to Marcelo. Marcelo gives it to Pasqua. Pasqua back over to Kreischer. Kreischer tries to get it to Pasqua, but Perez fouls her. It's going to be a Kodiak ball. Actually, it's going to be a one and one since they do have nine Pasqua, fouls now. That's a substantial number of fouls for Lathrop, um, considering that Kodiak has only two. Yeah, one thing Kodiak's been doing is they've really been stepping up this half. I mean, I know it's it was too late, but... At least you see some improvement from, Absolutely. from the first half. And you know, uh, for a coach, even though you might not win the game, just being able to see that consistency moving into the second half is really good. Ella Roberts, no good for three, but Frasco puts it up 4-2, and it is now 71-38. to We're certainly going to, we're not certainly, but we'll likely see uh, an 80-point game here for Lathrop. Roberts with the ball again, dribbling it down. Looking for someone open, gets it to Perez. Perez up for two, and it's good. 73 to 38, Lathrop leads. And Lathrop not letting up here. Absolutely not. Really taking it to him. And Marcelo gets it over to Kreischer. That's going to be a timeout. Timeout for Kodiak. Once again, we're going to mention that uh, we are from the Hutchison High School stream team from Hutchison High School in Fairbanks. Uh, we're a school of choice and one of the, the cl career clusters that we have that makes us a career and technical school is the Arts AV cluster, which myself and Hugh are a part of. And uh, this is a great way, the stream team that we have, the stream events around the state, it's a great way for us to get some great hands-on experience. Uh, and we'd love to bring you these events from around uh, the state. And sometimes it's basketball, sometimes it's skiing, sometimes it's volleyball, and sometimes it's here in Fairbanks. Sometimes we take it on the road. It's a really great setup and uh, a great opportunity for us, and we're so glad that you're tuning in for our stream. So Kreischer is going to take it in for Kodiak. Kreischer to Marcelo. Three minutes left in this game. Marcelo back to Kreischer, who gets it to Pruitt. Pruitt up, but nothing knocked out of their hands by Oates. Back to pass uh, to Marcelo. Marcelo over to Kreischer. Kreischer back to Pasqua. Pasqua up, and that is no good for two. Kodiak takes it. Johnson has the ball, gets it to Oates. Oates over to Wiseman. Let's see here. McLean. McLean over. Gets that one over to Wiseman, and I think it's going to be out on Kodiak. It's still going to be Lathrop Ball here. Oates taking it in. 
very aggressive game that we're seeing right here. Johnson puts it up, but it is no good. It is out on white, so it is Kodiak's ball. Kreischer is going to take that in, gets it to Marcelo. Marcelo back over to Kreischer. Kreischer to Bartel. Bartel back to Kreischer. Uh, and that is good. Kreischer for three points. Kreischer took her time there and set her feet. Two minutes left here. And we have McLean. McLean. And it is a throw in for White uh, after Kodiak hits her arm. And we have Kiembo checking right back in for the Rams. Oates gets it. And it's it is out epic. on Johnson, it looks like. One thing I've been very impressed with is the athleticism of both of these teams just being able to, to keep a very physically demanding game going very well, not losing any steam really, even though we only have a little bit left here. One thing that Pascal you have to give no props good. to Kodiak for is they might be losing, but they've been playing at the same place the whole game. And really, it's just a matter of how Lathrop's been doing. Has, has, th their shots have just been falling, and it's really been their threes from Perez and Roberts. And, uh, exactly. Had Lathrop not gained that initial lead, um, then it probably would be a pretty close game. Because uh, that initial lead is really what's carrying them in. I mean, they had a, a substantial lead heading into even just the second half. Because if I, because I think it's safe to say that Kodiak really, this has been their kind of half. But the first half was just so dominant by Lathrop that they're just up by. I mean, they're just down by too much to come back. Exactly, they're still down by 30. But that 30 has been maintained pretty much universally through this second half. Here's Marcelo. And That's that is off. no good. So, oh, but Kodiak with the rebound. Breezy McLean almost steals it, but gets it out there to <coughs> number 32, Kyla Kiambo. But River with the rebound. Passes McLean it up has it. to McLean. Gives it to Torin Johnson. Oates, and she misses it. But Johnson gets it up for two. And now we're seeing Pasqua. She's taking it down. And One minute left in this game. There's a steal for number 13, Long Rachel pass. Weisel. And uh, there you go, River Wiseman goes out there to... McLean for three. Beautifully well executed there. That makes the score 48 to 43. One thing that's been so exciting for me to watch is that there's a very even playing level amongst these girls. I mean, Ella Roberts definitely being a standout here, but with most of these girls for Lathrop, just being able to, to play a very even game with, each, with one another. Um, similar passing ability, similar ball handling ability, similar shooting ability, and they can really rely on every single member of their team. As we reach the last 20 seconds of this game, we see uh, Marcelo goes up for three. Johnson back to McLean for Lathrop. Seven seconds left. And the ball is out with half a second left on the clock. No one really stepping up to take that. And it's going to be Kodiak's ball with about 0 0.5 seconds left on the clock. And really no time for any shot as Marcelo just chucks that one. And that is the game. Congratulations to Lathrop High School for winning 78-46 to over Kodiak. And a great game for Kodiak. They're holding the run in that second half. I'm Alton Jerome. Thank you for tuning into our stream. We are the Hutchison High School stream team.